are dating white white men because they treat them like, I don't know, humans compared to like men of color. So I was completely with you on this video. I agree with a lot of the points you have to say, but respectfully on this one, uh, this is where I feel like it's problematic to have this type of viewpoint. And I say this with respect, all right? The thing is that I've seen this sentiment echoed online and I feel like it's completely false. I feel like it's buying into white supremacy on some level. I feel like it's internalized racism to assume that on the basis of race, white people are superior to men of color. That white men are paragons of virtue when they are just as sexist and have problems as well. It's not a thing that's just unique to men of color, the Latino men specifically. So I'll get into the dating stat stuff, but first I want to say that, yeah, men of color, they're not angelitos, especially not Latinos. You know, there's problems, there's machismo, there's sexism, uh, there's violence, those types of things. But it is not just unique to men of color, Latinos as a whole. Um, but there has been progress that has been made in Mexico. We have a female president, half the Congress made up of women now. People are calling out colorism, like the Nochuerta in the past and other organizations that are of that similar vein, you know there has been a rise of uh, progressivism in Mexico, right? All these problems extend historically back to the caste system, the whole colorism thing, the imposition of Eurocentric ideals, uh, these problems. And one thing I'm going to mention is you recognize that fact because you mentioned the colorism aspect. That maybe you don't fit the Eurocentric standard so cleanly in a Latino space. But one thing maybe you've forgotten is... Latinos themselves do not fit that uh, Eurocentric ideal in the United States either. They are at a disadvantage as well. I feel like that's never acknowledged. It's always acknowledged from only the fem female point of view that, oh, we don't fit the beauty standards. Like, neither do men of color. But to get into the dating stats, uh, you know, here is white dates relative likelihood of messaging white versus minority men. Minority men are not favored. That's shown here. This is with online dating. This is the dating divide by Curington. Pretty good resource. A lot more recent. Uh, Non-white daters relative likelihood of messaging white versus same race women. They're way more likely to message the same race woman than they are a white person. By contrast, non-white daters relative likelihood of messaging white versus same race men. Well, you can see that they're more likely to message white. And in my opinion, this goes down to socialization. What is represented as the ideal in Hollywood by the dominant society you know, it is getting better now, but certainly for the last 30 years, I mean, it's certainly not been minority men <laughs> as represented as an ideal. So that's why there is internal racism at play. So, yes, I agree with basically your whole video, except that one part of just wanting to assume white men are better on that basis and to and demonizing minority men. I feel like that's unfair.